Traditionally, even early esophageal cancer has been treated by surgical esophagectomy, and with that there's a lot of surgical morbidity and even mortality associated. Uh, in 2007, however, a uh, landmark study came out of Germany which was paradigm shifting. It involved the enrollment of 100 patients who were treated endoscopically by endoscopic mucosal resection for T1A early esophageal cancer with low risk features. Low risk features included lack of obvious angiolymphatic invasion and low grade of the tumor. Among those 100 patients, none of them died of esophageal cancer, and in fact, over five years, their survival was equal to that of the age-matched German population. Over the years, that landmark paper was paradigm shifting and allowed gastroenterologists with special expertise to treat their patients similarly. And in fact, here at UPMC, we published the largest American experience in 2013 involving 54 patients with early adenocarcinoma of the esophagus with similar low risk features and had a 96% cure rate. In the future, I expect expanding indications for endoscopic therapy of early esophageal cancer to include tumors that are slightly higher risk. While we will never be treating large tumors endoscopically, small tumors that do invade deeper into the esophagus, into the submucosa, have been studied and in fact were also published by the same German group with favorable results, approximately 87% cure rates. Physicians who diagnose patients with early esophageal cancer have a decision to make. Do they refer for surgery or do they refer for expert endoscopic therapy? This determination often can't be made until the patient has already undergone an endoscopic mucosal resection. So patients in general will be best served to be referred to an expert center uh, focusing on endoscopic treatment of esophageal cancer in Barrett's. What physicians need to know who diagnose their patient with esophageal cancer is that over the last eight to 10 years, endoscopic therapy has become a very viable option and that enough data has been presented that it is now effectively considered the gold standard for early esophageal cancer with low risk features.